Hi everyone, thanks for joining. I'm Vivian Sanfargarno and I'm going to introduce our work on satellite image time series classification with pixel set encoders and temporal self-attention. With our approach, we achieve better classification with a network that is three times faster and has four times lighter memory requirements. For this work, we focused on Sentinel-2 time series. Sentinel-2 is a publicly available source of satellite imagery. It has a 10 meter spatial resolution, a revisit time of five days, and it has 13 spectral bands. Now, the good news about our classification task is that in some countries such as France, farmers manually annotate on a map the borders of their parcels as well as a crop type label. And they do so every year, which results in a huge volume of publicly available annotated data. Our task then is to classify those crop types based on the observed Sentinel-2 time series. The current state of the art for this task relies on recurrent convolutional architectures to address the spatial temporal nature of the data. Yet CNN's struggle on the coarse resolution of Sentinel-2 images where not much texture is present. And additionally, RNNs are notoriously long to train, especially for long sequences of images. So in this work, we propose two modules that circumvent both those limitations. We start with the pixel set encoder. This module implements the simple idea that if the images don't have that much texture, we might as well consider them as unordered sets of pixels. To do so, we start by randomly sampling a fixed number of pixels from the input image, and then process those pixels with a shared MLP MLP1. We pull the resulting vectors on the pixel axis of dimension S, and finally process the pooled vector with a second MLP MLP2 to produce the embedding of the image. We simply concatenate some geometric features uh, about the parcel's shape before the second MLP. In short, this uh, module can be seen as a point net network adapted for coarse resolution images. On the temporal front, we adapt the self-attention mechanism to our task. So starting from a transformer encoder, we implement two slight modifications. First, we directly bypass the inputs as values. In the common NLP context, uh, the input embeddings are pre-computed word embeddings, such as word to vec vectors, whereas in our case, the image embedding network is trained end-to-end -end with a self-attention mechanism, so that's why we can directly bypass the input embeddings as values. Second, since we want to map a sequence to a label, we would like our self-attention mechanism to produce a single output, and we propose to do that by computing a single attention mask for the whole uh, sequence. To obtain this attention mask, we first compute a master query Q hat by taking the temporal average of the queries of each element of the sequence and process the results with a linear layer FC2 and use this master query Q hat to produce uh, the attention mask that is used to produce the output of the attention mechanism. As in the transformer architecture, several heads run in parallel to allow for some head specialization. And we show an example of this head specialization on the plots below, where we show the av av average attention mask of the four attention heads for two classes of our data sets, spring serial and summer serial. And looking at the average attention mask of head four, you can see that this head specializes on somewhere uh, in the end of spring for the spring serial class and uh, somewhere in the end of summer for the summer serial class. So we assemble those two modules in a single architecture where a shared pixel set encoder embeds uh, the images of the sequence and uh, the resulting sequence of embeddings is fed to a temporal attention encoder. To test uh, this architecture, we assembled a large data set of annotated Sentinel-2 images. It's comprised of around 200,000 parcels that be belong to 20 different classes. The data set as well as the code is available on our GitHub repository. And we tested our model and compared it to uh, the other state-of-the-art methods. And the results first show that the classification performance is improved by uh, around three points of minute sect over union. Additionally, our architecture processes the data four times faster than other methods. And lastly, since the pixel set encoder doesn't require the images to be resized to a constant shape, the storage requirement of our architecture is reduced by a factor of three. Feel free to check our paper to see the detailed ablation study in which we show that the pixel set encoder outperforms the CNN even without pre-computed geometric features, and where we also show that the temporal attention encoder outperforms RNNs and vanilla transformer. The open source code and the data sets are available on our GitHub repo. Thanks for your attention and have a great remote conference.